Hello everyone, uh, back to Gran Turismo campaign mode. Uh, finally done with all the road cars or old cars, anything which was using the round trim and the age shifter. It's time for some uh, formulas and GTEs and prototypes, Le Mans prototypes, and some uh, vision bullshit. Unfortunately, there is one series or two which requires the scars. Uh, yeah, I'll do them as well. So, uh, I'm going back to Amateur League. I have one set of races left here, which is the Super Formula Championship. Let's move there straight away. And we're starting with Suzuka Circuit. I think I have the car. Yeah, I spent all my money for all the missing cars. I still don't have all of them. I'm missing two Red Bulls, that's six millions. And I think I'm missing some of the Japanese GT cars. I have two. Uh, there is more races than two. I want more of them to have some variety. Okay, so first of all, manual, so I can choose between, that's only five laps, I'm going soft, there is nowhere there anyway, no traction control to be fair, right? And ABS, I'm putting it to, I don't know, I don't think formula is ABS, right? So we'll cut the ABS off, and I'll put the, I'll set the load cell for that, to a bit, being a bit harder, here we go. So I'll try that without ABS. Uh, car settings, that's all standard, 100-100. Haven't changed anything here. Default. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's see how it goes. But the only thing I'm worried about is that it will be very sensitive. I have the sensitivity to auto at the moment, so my wheel fix what the game gives it, but it's not too bad for now. I don't know what to expect. Uh, those cars are really, really fast, I guess, and I'm not used to it. I've been driving rather slower cars. The switching to something as fast as that usually requires a lot of getting used to. It is quite sensitive, so whoa, 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 whoa. I'll continue. Uh, I probably. That's a lot of power there. I think I get a full turn at just around 180 degrees one way. It's very little. I'm used to do 900. We're going 1800, maybe 600, 740 GT cars. But those Formula's cars are crazy, very sensitive. That's a good slipstream there. Is it full throttle? I guess. It just drove into me. Oh, I like the wheels there. I'm not sure why the uh, halo system on that car is uh, transparent. That's some bullshit over there. Whoa! I thought I'm going to crush it, but I actually slowed down just enough. I think I'm getting used to these cars. Uh, they are a bit hard to drive. But with just five laps, there is no really point of doing any kind of training, right? That would be like a proper hour and a half race, then yes, I would do a practice first, learn the car, set it up. But that's not in Gran Turismo, that's more like in Project Cars or a Formula 1 game. 
it is just pure fun. Whoa. That steering sensitivity gets even higher at the higher speeds. hilarious at the uh, Monaco Grand Prix, like he was uh, parking everyone behind him, even his teammate who had a 5 seconds penalty. It's so hard to stop without ABS, I don't have the full potential of braking. I really need to start braking earlier than they're braking. But I really think those cars don't have ABS. That's why we see... Well, that's not exactly a Formula 1, right? And I don't follow any kind of finding car where the Lara is mostly where the Syndicar is driving, right? Whoa. I got boost as soon as I overtake, overtook all of them. Uh, barely slow down here. Final lap. So that was my fastest lap and they staying behind me, uh, just below one second.
I increased the gap a little bit, but it's growing. Uh, no, it's going down actually. That was enough to win it, and that was spontaneous. I haven't, I've never driven this car, bought it uh, just before this race in preparation. Uh, not too bad, I guess. Not too best. Not too bad. Yeah, unfortunately, that mistake on the first uh, lap cost me the clean race bonus. But besides that, it was good. Uh, perfect. Uh, it's time to move to the next one. Won't be wasting any time, I guess. So, Tokyo Speedway. Ah, sorry, Expressway. Fantasy bullshittery, but that's, that is what it is. Same car, different truck. At least when I go to the real, uh, real life race trucks like the Suzuka, I, I know the layout. As soon as I go to this uh, Fantasy Gran Turismo trucks, I know nothing. I haven't changed anything, so it's still the same setup. Um, okay, so now I have time to change a few things uh, around the cockpit view. First of all, I want it as far as it is, so I can see those mirrors. And uh, second thing, yeah, I guess default is good when it comes to the height. Uh, it was just <coughs> how close I sit to the side that we. Curious how many gears I have here. Uh, also curious what's the layout of the truck. Those cars are quick, yes, definitely. Shocking Gilly, I can drive faster on this corners. Slightly lock at the end. It's not leaving me there enough space. Bloody hell, what an asshole. They're even faster, that's crazy how fun these cars are in this car. <laughs> there was some jumping there. Six gear is the, is the last one, final one. There is no seven or eight. Yeah, I don't want to be jumping like like last time. I'll be more careful this time around this that chicane. Oh, they parking me! How oh, great! I need to leave them enough space. Ah! <laughs> okay, that was really fast. 
Oh, I was curious if I can go full throttle there. Maybe I can, I don't know. I'm sure the people can. I far, I'm far from being uh, great in the game. That's three laps to go. I'll go on outside. Wow, there is a wall there. That's it. I'm not going to the pit. <laughs> okay. Burley. Seconds to the first one on fourth. Okay, two laps to go. No more stupid mistakes like that uh, pit entry. They're not really willing to leave me enough space, right? He's pushing me to the left. This one's also pushing me to the wall. AI is awful, seriously. The programming of the AI is so bad in this game. Such a rich studio, having millions of dollars to, to build those games and having so much time. It's not like they're releasing them every year. And the AI programming is really horrible. Final lap, I guess. I think it's somewhere here where the start finish line is. Yes, it's here. Uh, oh, I can go full photo here, definitely. Probably here as well. I release it for a uh, brief second. I don't see that wall here, it's so dark. Lock the wheels there. Still stay in front. Yeah, they definitely got a boost. <laughs> Staying right behind. There we 
go. Fastest lap at least. Though it wasn't the fastest lap uh, overall, uh, it was my personal best. Because one of them, obviously, as soon as they got a boost, I did the fastest lap. Which was a second quicker or something stupid like that. Um, anyway, another one done. Or another one bites the dust. 117.7. Cool. Uh, that was the second guy. Uh, next one. Fuji. Okay, at least a real. Uh, is this the version of the full chicane? Yes. Okay. So, the same setup, no ABS, uh, no traction control. Let's try again. Hopefully more cleaner this time. Yeah, more cleaner. Rating more cleaner. Bravo. to expect this time. <laughs> that was close, nice. Yeah, whatever, I have inside my line. Not a bad first lap. I'm getting used to the car and of course I know the trucks, uh, the real trucks. We've got some slips through here, I guess. Here we go. That's the momentum. I know I was braking too early, but I have no idea where is the correct braking point for that, uh, for that corner. Thank you for leaving such a huge gap. Lock the wheels there a little bit. sure why they're not getting a slipstream and uh, driving faster than I do. Of course, as soon as I'll get to the first place, they will get a boost and they'll be faster all over the place.
go. Hey, I should get a boost now. I'm still not sure where to start braking. Um, it's a bit hard without IPS, and I don't want to lock the wheels. That was really easy win. Three seconds gap, it's going down, uh, but it doesn't matter at that stage. Another fastest lap. And it was a clean race as well. I need this experience points. Uh, it's still a long way to level 50. I think I'm 45 at the moment. Or maybe 44. Okay, the next one. Uh, Dragon Tail, another fantasy truck, which I don't know. Ah. That will be a quick learning. I want the chicane. Okay, the same setup, so just double check, manual, soft, soft, traction control off, ABS off, car is default, let's go, try this. That's the problem with this fantastic truck, so I don't know what to expect from the truck and from the AI. Right on the left, okay, it's behind. I could take a risk and try to overtake here. I think I need to go aggressive. Much better exit than them. Oh, it was closing doors there.
didn't know it's such a tight corner here. Okay, I think this is the start finish line, uh, the main straight. Yeah, it is. Let's go lap one out of five. The memory kicks in. I'll lock the wheels a little bit there. Not release the brake pedal straight away, just to get the traction back with the front wheels. I'll be attacking here. Don't have time. I think the first gear is unnecessary. I won't be downshifting the first on the uh, next laps. Oh, a bit risky. Not stayed on the track, two wheels on the track, right? Stream P2 and P1 should be before the braking. Cleaner. I was a bit too fast in the left-hander. I had a very tight entry into the right-hander. A bit risky. I need to slow down more. Next two laps. Two laps to go. Of course, the AI got boost as soon as they were overtaken. right behind me and they were nowhere before can I go full throttle in the right hander here? I think I can oh, barely <laughs> a bit risky much better this time. Maybe it wasn't the fastest drive through those last two corners, but uh, it was clean. And uh, it's a three seconds gap, so it's not too bad. And the uh, final lot.
another one cleared. This time it was clean race bonus, which is a surprise on a Fantasy truck. Um, but this truck was quite pleasant. Uh, fastest lap as well. So I, I didn't get such a big boost here, if at all. Uh, okay, next one. Clearing that uh, Super Formula series really quickly. Uh, three races left. Out, uh, what? Out, uh, police. Okay, another Fantasy truck. At least the last two are uh, real, uh, real live race trucks, so that's good. Let's clear this one. Um. I need to switch off my TV. Uh. Okay, so, uh, switch off, okay, switched off, ready to go. Okay, Honda de Lara, had some autopolis, whatever it's called, a race truck. Okay, I have the outside to the next corner. Actually, I'm in front. Another one. Early slow down there. They are really breaking hard here. Okay, my mistake. I didn't expect it though. They push you as well. Release that accelerator a little bit, not to crash into him. the wheels a little bit. Lack of ABS. Whoa, he's pushing me. <laughs> on us. Why? 
right in that corner. Laps to go. Be free. Made a mistake there. Here, no, I'm in front now. We've just um, a little bit more than two seconds uh, gap to the second one. One of just four seconds and the fastest lap. Okay, the second attempt was much better than the first one. And it is also a clean race bonus, great. There are two more races to go, but I need a short break before I, I will attempt this two. I'll be right back. Good, back to it. Uh, the next circuit is, uh, or the next race is at the Circuit de Spa, Frankfurt Champ. Amazing race track. And the last one is on the WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca, which is also amazing race track. Oh, hi, hi, sorry, I didn't see you were uh, writing with still there. 
Uh, I'm very well, thank you very much. Uh, even though it's Monday, uh, it was uh, a good day at work today, so I cannot complain. How are you? Hopefully good. And yes, spa, spa is special. If it's not raining there. <laughs> That's good to hear, man. That's good to hear. It is raining at spa today. So we need some uh, they telling me intermediate. Uh, hopefully that's going to be good enough. So it's no ABS, no traction control and it's raining. That's going to be fun. I need to try it. I need to actually start doing some project cars racing again. Okay, that was better. That sounds good. Is it like six cars uh, at, the, at the same time on the on the truck in those uh, rally cross events? And is there a joker lap, like in the real rallycross? I will read that on the straight. <laughs> it's actually, I mean, the, some heavy traffic and in the turn, so I cannot read it at the moment. Again, the second time, the same guy. Okay, so there is a checker lava, that's great. They thought about everything. I agree, it's my favorite one as well. I play others as well, but Project Cars 2 is definitely my favorite one. I think I'll pick up a uh, Gran Turismo 7 uh, tomorrow or the after tomorrow just to give it a try. There were some major patches already so it shouldn't be too bad now. 
I know the economy in that game was really bad at the launch and they messed it up with a patch so they had to patch it again Barely, barely. I still have seven seconds to the first one. That's that's quite a lot. I love Eurush, such an amazing uh, corner.
And there is one more left, which is Laguna Seca, WeatherTech, Raceway Laguna Seca. Formerly known as a Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, has changed a few respects. There we go, seven laps. It's a short racetrack, so that's why. It is the same setup, default car, default setup, uh, no ABS, no traction control. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Not on those tires. Those are intermediates. The sunny California, not a great idea. Racing softs. There we go. That's better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I forgot to change them after the spa in rain. It's going quite fast at the moment and smooth. Why? I left you enough space. Ten seconds to the first one, I'm at P8. So I think I'm halfway through the park. I drove over the sausage curb, which bounced my car quite a lot.
five seconds and P5, four laps to go. He's just bouncing into me. And again. Like I was never there. Again, but it's P1 now, so I don't have to worry about him anymore. Oh. I locked the wheels just for a second. Corner, two laps to go. Project Cars 3, uh, yeah, I don't have it actually, I've never, uh, never played Project Cars 3. I heard it's a good game, like, uh, if you want to just have some fun, but it's not really a sim. Something like Project, uh, something like uh, Gran Turismo, really. Short races, no qualification. It's a finish line. Here we go, done. Yeah, I'll try it one day. Uh, 
I want to focus now on finishing that Gran Turismo Sport. I still have few races left. I want to finish it before, uh, and I want to get to level 50 for the trophy. And um, and then I want to focus more on Project Cars 2. There's still plenty to do there for me. And then I want to focus on the Formula 1 2021. I purchased it a few months ago, and I never played it. So I want to play it, don't want to waste that money. So yeah, definitely. I probably I have a long weekend, four days off this week. So I'll be playing some Project Cars 2, Formula 1. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be fun. And when I'm done with some of those games, then I'll definitely try Project Cars 3 as, uh, you know, as you said, just to have fun around. Oh, that's good to know. I didn't know there is some customization. That's good to know, man. Uh, sometimes it's just nice to, you know, play around without any super dedication to the sim, but just to have some fun. Okay, so I finished the amateur league. Uh, oh, it's all there. I see, I didn't know those things. Oh, the carousel of uh, the spur. Probably going to get that fi Fiat 500 or whatever it is. No, uh, that's the GT Toyota, I guess, right? Oh, no, that's Corolla. Okay, I don't think I have that. Even though this is like a crap car, I still, I'm still happy I got it.